What's up, Internet? We are here with five more days until the next Animal Crossing game comes out. Very exciting, very exciting. We are in the town, at least for a little bit. And we're going to go sell some stuff to Nook in the next town over, and we'll see what else we can do in the meantime. Is there any new treasure to look for? Doesn't look like it. There's a cherry blossom festival that's going to be happening way too far off in the future for us to do anything about. But what can you do? Uh, uh yeah. So that's kind of what's going on right now. What do we have here? We have dice shirt, gyroid paper, and I think we're gonna go see what's going on at Nooks. But first, we got to get on a train. Because it's train time now. Alright. So let's save the game and get on that train. Yeah, the train's pulling in. That's good. That's good. Let's hop on. See what's going on in the next town over. As we pull out of the station and towards our destiny, we can look forward to amazing things to buy at Nooks, or at the very least, amazing things we can sell to Nook to make him go wow and pay us all the bells in the world. That too is nice. to the right. We're gonna tilt the camera to the left. And then suddenly it's gonna be light outside because I guess we were in a very long tunnel or something. But that's okay. Even if we don't understand tunnels or whatever the hell this train was going through at that point where it was quantum leaping between memory cards. The nice thing is, we're here, where we need to be. We can go and sell everything we don't need. But first, I think I need to change my clothes. Let's see. Yep, that's my cool shirt. Which is indeed a very cool shirt. Take those bells. I'll take these bells. I'll take even these bells, and we'll open this present for a dinosaur egg, because paperweights. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. What we have here a science table for science and thick paper. For when you really, really want to write some mail. Alright, Mr. Nook, time to sell some stuff. Starting with this and 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 this. Give us a few bells. But of course we're not done yet because we've got all of our letters as well. Gotta get rid of this, gotta get rid of this, gotta get rid of this. It's from home. Interesting. And we gotta get rid of this. Now, what do we have? We have a Triceratops skull. That'll sell. Paperweight. And another paperweight. Ooh. And a peach. That'll sell for a few bells. So, now we'll just sell, 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 sell. I'll make a few more bells on top of that. Of course, we have to see if Nook has anything in stock for us that would be of interest. Uh, I'm not 
seeing anything immediately. I mean, the exotic chest is nice, but I already have one. Nope, I think that's, uh, that's about everything that interests me. You know, aside from the flowers, of course. Talk to Peaches. Maybe she needs something done. You need something done, Peaches. I could talk to Chow about a Pokemon Pikachu, sure. Oh, we should see if there's any treasure to be found as well. Hmm, no. Okay, so Chow is step number one. Alright, Chow. I need a Pokemon Pikachu. I was told you had one. Well, that was painless. I can appreciate painless quests. Painful ones are less appreciated, though. Alright. So let's go deliver this to good old Peaches. Throw this out, we'll talk to Velma. Sorry, Peaches. Didn't mean to... Sorry, Peaches. Really didn't mean to do that. Come on! I'm not trying to hit you with my net. I'm sorry, Peaches. I feel bad. I'm just gonna go storm to this person's house for a minute. And then leave. Very nice house, though. Okay. Sorry, Peaches. Oh, good. I didn't hit her again. I don't know why, but the detection for nets is a little spotty sometimes. Ah, stationary. Okay. I shall take it. Let's talk to Velma. Oopsie. Nope, I wanted to know if you needed a thing. Do you need a thing, Velma? Okay, she's gotten everything taken care of. She is very prepared. I can appreciate that. Hey, Tangy. Why am I wearing this shirt now? I could have bought one and we could have all been twinsies. But I don't like that shirt. Okay, well, we can't help Tangy if she doesn't know what she wants help with. Can't be helped. Oh, there's Goldie. Sorry, I'm breaking into your house. Let's try this again. Next time I actually talk to her. That sounds like a good idea. If I was breaking into your house. Apologies, I thought you were in there yourself. Nope. Nothing for Goldie. I guess it's just one of those days where there's not a lot of questing. That's okay, I guess. Nope. Actually, I took care of it, Chow. You remember? You remember how I talked to you like literally two minutes ago to do a thing? Yeah, I did that. That wasn't you. Give me proper credit, please. Copper! Hey, there's a ball. Hey, Crazy Red's coming to town. On the 17th. Well, we might have to go say hi. Let's see what's going on with Cube. I've already gone through like half the population of this town. We haven't really gotten another quest. Oh, you need flowers, but I can't give you flowers, Camo Frog. See, I need all the flowers. Because I'm making an awesome super garden. Sorry, buddy. But while we're here, we can look for Gulliver, I guess. That sounds like a good idea. Try to make sure he doesn't drown unconscious on the beach. That'd be a sad way to go, especially for a sailor. But I think we've established, I don't think he actually knows how to sail at all. I don't think he's ever stepped foot on a boat proper. probably just fell in the ocean on some kind of like weird sailor suit fashion show on a pier or something. And almost half drowned to death. And that's the story of Gulliver. 
I still don't understand why he was an alien. That's something I've never really grasped. Cookie! Give me something to do. Take clothes to Tangy? I know where she is, and I can get rid of her ugly clothes. Consider it done. Alright. Let's go talk to Tangy. We'll be up here somewhere ish. I mean, she was. Where did you go, Tangy? She's not near her house. She just randomly teleported around, didn't she? That is so classic Tangy. Hmm. I only really think that maybe she'd be up around here. Are you visiting Peaches? You're not. Intriguing. But where could she be? If not with Peaches. Yeah, I think she just randomly teleported. I don't think we're gonna find her anywhere anytime soon. There's Caesar. But no tangy. Hmm. Go talk to our old pal Ketzel and maybe swing by the wishing well. Ketzel, give me a quest that doesn't involve Tangy, please. No? Alright, fair enough. Get rid of that. I suppose Tangy just randomly teleported here. Oh, she's disappeared off the face of the earth. That's the only explanation. Well, we can always talk to Pierce, I guess. Pierce, give me a quest that doesn't involve Tangy, please. I can talk to Camo Frog about that, sure. And if we're lucky, we'll run to Tangy along the way. Or it'll come back to having to ask Tangy about it, in which case then we're really stuck. And that's not good. Maybe she went to the museum? Hmm. Oh, glowy spot. Come on, glowy spot. One thousand bells. Tangy? I found you. The glowy spot's being loud and annoying. Aww. That image is a holdover from another thing. Oh, not this ugly shirt. I could have bought it earlier, but I didn't because it was ugly. Alright, thanks, Tangy. Ish. Not really. Aw, Cube went back to his default because Weber's a jerk. I always knew that about Weber, though. Alright, I'll go talk to Chow. See, at least grumpy characters, they at least seem upset that they did that. They, like, genuinely seem remorseful about it. There's other characters just like, well, it's someone else's fault, not mine. Go deliver this to Pearson. That sounds like a plan. Alright. So we gotta go talk to Pierce. Who is fortunately not moved. I will deliver this to you, my friend. Oh, 
I'll take furniture. That's like the best reward ever. A manhole cover. In later games, that would be an indicator of where the reset center was. But here, it's just a thing you can put in your house if you really want to. Not sure why you'd want to, but it's a manhole cover. Kinda know what you're getting with it, I guess. It's not gonna be some sort of like ultra super stylish manhole cover or something. With rhinestones and glitter and stuff. Just a regular one. But if you want something that you know exactly what you're getting when you look at the name, that's certainly one thing you could do. I'll take this. I'll take some Cosmos. And I'll take some of these. I'll take some pansies. And finally, I'll take some more Cosmos. Now, we just gotta go talk to a train. Or rather, a conductor about a train. And if we're lucky, we won't have to wait for one to pull into the station. But we were not lucky. But that happens. Yep, I'm leaving. Please summon a train porter. Okay. Yay, the train pulled in. Hooray. Now we just gotta get on that train. Goodbye, Porter. I shall see you in a few moments when I see you when I get back with the train because you're always waiting ever faithful never leaving your post you're almost as dedicated as copper I guess we're in a tunnel again maybe Possibly. Then we'll pan the camera over to the right. And then we'll pan it back to the left and boom! We're out of the tunnel. But it's still dark out. Because it is after midnight. Over here, a cat that seems very off. Goodbye, Rover. some flowers. And we'll see if Copper's enjoying his jams that we left for him. Because he deserved that. Uh-oh. Wisp, I keep trying to help you, but your little wiggly ghosty bit buddies never actually spawn. Look, if I give you a net, would that satisfy your need to have a net to catch things? Because I'm not having much luck with you actually spawning them where they need to be. Alright, well, we'll keep an eye out, I guess. Let's see what we got. There's one. Now we just need the others. And hopefully to have them not spawn in dumb places. Let's see if Gulliver's around today. There's two. I'm not sure Gulliver will show up. 
but it's possible. It doesn't seem like it's going to happen thus far. Nothing here. the third one gonna spawn, I wonder. Here seems like a likely spot. Stupid ball with its stupid awful ball quests. Why can't you be a ghost thing? Hey, bro. I don't have anything for you today, I'm afraid. I know that's weird because I usually do, but I just don't today. My apologies. Plant this here, and plant this here, and plant this here, and plant this here, and plant this here. Well, the garden's looking good. Ooh, glowy spot. So I think I'll find three more wisp thingies, but we haven't had much luck yet. Throw that out. Throw that out. Come on, wiggly ghosty bits. I need three more. I've got stuff to do, so I'm not going to hang around too much tonight to find you if you're not showing up. I've kind of lost faith in you showing up at all, honestly, because every time I try, one of you doesn't show up. Or you spawn in a really weird, broken place. Looks like Copper is guarding his music. Good. I'm glad he values my gift. Throw that out. Still not seeing any wisps around here. But we need five. But we only have two. I don't think we're going to find the other three, honestly. For some reason, they just seem to be dead set on not spawning properly. There's three. Now I just need two more. But the question is, will they spawn? And will they spawn in sensible places? Where we can actually get them? Because that is the overarching question. That will make or break whether or not we actually get anything from Wisp. And so far it doesn't look like it's going to happen. I wasn't planning on doing a second lap or anything, but... I guess we don't have a lot of choice. Do an extra lap, I guess. Probably spawned on the opposite side of the tracks where we can't even see it. <laughs> that would just be absolutely classic wiggly ghosty bits for you. Alright, that'll be four. Now we just need one more. question is, if and where it's going to spawn. There's Wisp. Not that he's going to help all that much, he's kind of not helpful at all, really. What about down here? Come on, wiggly ghosty bits. There they go, finally we've broken the curse of wiggly ghosty bits. Let's go talk to our old pal, Wisp, about the wiggly ghosty bits. I finally solved your problem. We have defeated the big smelly. My cat has been vanquished by the power of wiggly ghosty bits. Give me stuff. A fence? 
Oh, I was hoping for a gyroid. I guaranteed something I don't have. Thank you, Wisp. Actually, I think a saddle fence is like a nook prize or something. So that's kind of nice. Anyway, I think that will be it for tonight. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know we go live, because we do this every single night. It's getting even more important, because we are counting down to when the next Animal Crossing comes out, so get ready for that. That's pretty exciting. You also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, which is a lot of stuff. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can, so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability, which in this case is breaking the curse of ghosts. Sure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.